Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to use a Tron mobile based wallet uh, to send and receive your Tron tokens. So let's get going. Okay, so I've done a lot of videos on Tron. I've never showed you how to install or use a mobile based Tron wallet. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. We're just going to go over to App Store and we're going to search for Tron and see what's out there on the iOS platform. We'll hit search. Uh, we're, we're probably going to need to say wallet because there's a lot of hits on Tron. Right? And this is the one that I'm going to give a shot today, the Tron Wallet Mobile. So we'll go ahead and get that installed. Uh, we'll choose open. And there we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it give me uh, alerts uh, so that we can see when uh, money comes in or goes out. And so the first thing we'll want to do is create a wallet. So I'm going to tap that. And it wants me to set a pin, which I will do. And then once we've entered the pin twice, uh, we're going to be given a uh, seed phrase, which we can use to restore this wallet uh, if anything should happen to our phone or if we should uninstall, lose, whatever. Uh, always a, a wonderful idea. And as I've noted in past videos, uh, the best way to keep track of all your seed phrases is to write down specifically on the piece of paper exactly what wallet it's for uh, and the date uh, so that if you're rummaging through all of your papers and you find this seed phrase, you'll know which wallet it belongs to. So I'm going to copy down this seed phrase. All right, and once we have uh, written this seed phrase down, uh, I'm going to tap the button that tells uh, tells him yes, I've written it down. And now they want us to tap the words in order. Word order is very important in these seeds. So remember, as you're writing them down, uh, go left to right, top to bottom. Make sure you write down the words in the proper order. And so I'm going to start that uh, process here. All right, and once I've managed to tap them in the correct order, I can hit confirm seed. Oh, they just gave me some Tron. What do you know? TWX, uh, which is not Tron. I believe it's their specific token. And then you can see that there are a few other coins here that are supported in this wallet. Uh, but at the moment, we don't have any Tron in here. So I'd like to put some Tron in here. So uh, I'm going to hit Receive. And it should generate an address for me here. And so I'm going to take that address, I'm going to share it with myself so that I can get it on my desktop, right? All right, I'm going to send that over to myself. And let's go over here to the Tron Watch Wallet. You can see I've got the Tron Watch Wallet installed. It's a desktop wallet and that there's some Tron in there. So I want to send some over there, all right, to my new nifty mobile wallet. So let's check my mail. All right, and now that I've emailed this to myself, I have access to it. Uh, much better to cut and paste a, a cryptocurrency address than to try and type it out by hand. Uh, prone to mistakes, typos, that sort of thing. All right, so I've cut and pasted it into my clipboard, and now I can go over here to my uh, Tron wallet. Tron, right, there's my TRX. I'm going to send it, and the address will be that Tron wallet that I copied into my clipboard. And how much Tron do I want to send? Well, I've got 463, so why don't we start with 200? A nice even number. Not a whole lot of money I'm risking at the moment. Could be valuable down the road someday. I'm gonna hit send. And then I'm gonna confirm that. And it said that the uh, send was successful. And there, my uh, Tron balance just decreased. Let's take a look at our mobile wallet and see what we've got. So we'll just take a look at our wallet balance and wait for some uh, TRX to come in. See what happens. Hey, there we go. So our Tron came in. Uh, one of the nice things about the Tron network is that it is very fast and the fees are very low. So I was able to tron transfer uh, 200 Tron uh, from my Tron Watch wallet to my phone-based account. The fact that this mobile wallet has its uh, backup seed is very nice because you know, not only do I control the private key on my phone, but I also have a backup 
that will allow me to restore the wallet in case I lose the phone or anything like that. And so I control the private keys of this wallet. Now, you may not want to carry all of your Tron around in a wallet like this, but uh, it might be good to uh, just have and hold and uh, play around with it. And uh, down the road, there may be places that will accept Tron. And so if I'm out and about, I'm, I'll be able to uh, just uh, pull out my phone and pay with Tron. Very easy. I can send the Tron to someone if they provide me a Tron address. And I could even uh, scan it if I wanted to. Right? I've got an address scanner. So it would allow me to uh, scan someone's Tron address if they wanted to, me to send them Tron. So a very versatile, uh, portable, easy wallet to use. I can even use this wallet to buy other tokens if I have a mind to. Uh, they, there's a lot of tokens in here. Uh, I'm not really interested in buying any of these at the moment. So let's check out this TWX. What's this all about? Is it even available over here? TWX. There you go. It is available. I can view their website. Oh, uh, basically it's just the uh, Tron wallet that we downloaded. All right, so uh, let's do a little experiment with uh, the other way around. Let's sense uh, they were uh, they gave us some of their own TWX tokens. So uh, let's play around with those, right? I'm going to tap here. I'm going to switch over to the TWX. So uh, I want an address, right? So let's go over here to my uh, Tron wallet and let's do a receive. And that is the uh, Tron address of this particular wallet, which all of the other tokens are going to live at the same address. So I'm going to tap my uh, phone. and use the address scanner to scan that little Tron address. And there's the Tron address I'm going to send to. I'm going to send all 100 tokens over there. I get max, right? And then uh, I'm going to hit send. And let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. I'm going to send those uh, TWX tokens. I'm going to submit, enter my PIN, and boom. I just successfully sent those tokens over to my Tron Watch wallet. And you'll notice over there that the Tron Watch wallet uh, now has 100 TWX in there. So it's pretty cool. We can transfer uh, tokens back and forth between the different wallets. Get that out of the way. And so you can see we can go over here uh, to uh, TWX. We'll click on that. We'll go over here uh, to TWX, right? And you can see that I just received 100 TWX tokens. Pretty cool. And apparently they're worth $2.23 US dollars. All right, now there are currently no decentralized exchanges where we can actually exchange these tokens for Tron uh, the other way around, right? I would like to sell my TWX for Tron and Tron I can sell on a cryptocurrency exchange, but none of these sub tokens are traded on any of the exchanges yet, but that will change. Uh, and this is an interesting little exercise in playing around with Tron tokens. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about what I did, then uh, throw them up in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And hopefully I'll have a good answer for you. I'd like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night, uh, Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Please join me for the live Q&A in LA. Throw out any questions that you may have or just sit back and relax lurk or join in the conversation. I hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.